How are you doing? Uh, this is Crusader Kings 2. This is another game that I think people just bounce off of because it's uh, it's it's very hard to just learn how to play it through playing it. Um, I did a video before with Hex where we did a, a kind of overview of the of the game, all the concepts in the game, sort of top down, uh, which is one way to sort of be introduced to the game. Uh, another way is to just watch somebody playing it and have them explain it, which this is what's the, what this is going to be. Um, probably an hour-long segment where I just play through a campaign, explain what I'm doing, uh, and yeah, uh, it really. So it's single player. Uh, I'll start a new game, uh, custom game setup. I'm going to start the uh, let's look at the uh, the realms mode so you can see what the world is like. Um, that's the the earliest start there. You can see as I go through the starts uh, later dates. You can think things sort of like conglomerate. England forms, France is there. Uh, things get bigger and bigger. I like the early start because everything everything's kind of small. So you're starting off small and working your way up. I'm going to be starting in Wales. Uh, I like starting in Wales. I like the United Kingdom's good because you're sort of isolated from the continent. So. Um, there's, there's it's kind of a natural barrier to how many people can get in and invade you and stuff. Uh, I'm going to start as Wales because within the United Kingdom, that's probably like the hardest start. Uh, it's, it's the weakest, uh, which means, you know, it's a bit of a challenge. Uh, a bit of a challenge, but with this buffer from, you know, the, the, the troubles in, in, in Europe, the inevitable troubles in Europe. Uh, so I'll start in Wales. I'll start with want somebody with a single county. Here we go for... I like these. I like. I've played these before. Morgan, Morgan Wig. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. These Welsh names. I'm going to say them all wrong. So you have to deal with that. Uh, yeah, he's a bit old, uh, which isn't great. He's 60 years old, so he's going to die pretty soon. But fuck it, let's do it. Uh, yeah. Okay. The only default setting that I tend to change is uh, their shattered retreat. I turn shattered retreat off. Because Shattered Retreat is an absolute pain in the arse. Uh, what it actually is, is when you defeat an army, they kind of, they run away as far as they can, or not as far as, but for a set number of moves, and you have to chase them down uh, if you want to keep defeating them. Uh, and the AI doesn't have control of them, they just sort of, like, run. Uh, and that is no fun at all. It's probably quite realistic, but it's no fun. Um... I'll just start the game. I won't, I won't play on Iron Man just in case I need to do some saves coming for some illustrative purposes or anything like that. Let the game load. Okay, so we get some information about our culture and the game in general and stuff and uh, government form and all, all that. We don't need that. All right, first thing I do is press W to get onto a map view that makes any sense. And we are... Where are, where are we? We're, we're there, aren't we, I think? Yeah. So with this tiny little, tiny little one county in uh, Wales. So first of all, let's see what our de jure duchy is. You press I, the map mode changes to de, de, uh, de jure duchies. Uh, you can see it's it's a bit close sometimes, but you can see that these three counties are the same color. So this is a de jure duchy. So this is what I'll be immediately trying to conquer. Um, these four here are a duchy. These three here are a duchy with Anglesey. And these three here are a duchy. Uh, it's Wales that we'll be concerned with to begin with. Uh, okay, so let's go through the thing. My stats. Uh, okay, that's not too bad for the start. My low stewardship is a bit of a problem. It means I can only hold one county, uh, but I can approve that with a wife. I won't worry about that. I've got high marshal, which is great. I've got a decent number of men. Uh, I've got two vassals. Um, this is a bishopric vassal. This is uh, so these are baronial level vassals. These are the towns, uh, uh, fortresses, and um, churches or temples within within a particular county. Uh, one of them, one of them is a bishop. The problem with bishops is that under Catholicism, if they like the Pope more than they like you, you get no troops from them, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. So you can see there, even though, even though he likes me forty three, which isn't bad, he obviously likes the Pope more. Does it tell me that on a mouse over? No. Uh, so he's giving me no troops at all. But this dude, uh, who's also my son, uh, so my son is uh, a baron, apparently. Uh, oh wait, no, he's a... Oh, my son holds this county. That's interesting. Okay, so that's a way... So when I die, if I choose the right government, we can unify these two. But is he, is he technically... Is he my vassal? 
Here's my vassal. Hmm. So do we have... Oh, we have two counties. They're just separated. I did not realise that. Uh, since the last time I played CK2, Wales has kind of been rejigged quite a lot. This is all a bit new to me. So that's that's actually pretty cool. So if I make him like me more, I'll get uh, a decent number more troops. Okay, so let's have a look at the uh, government type, actually. So we are... Magnetic, Cognetic, Gabblekind. Gabblekind means... Magnetic, Cognetic is males first. If you run out of males, then women, girls. Um... Uh, full agnatic would be only males can inherit, and full cognatic would be the eldest child uh, would inherit, regardless of whether they're male or female. Um, a gavel kind means that uh, your holdings are split amongst all of your eligible heirs, which is horrible. So when I die, my kingdom would just fall apart. We don't want that. Uh, the other options are primogeniture. That's normal, what you're used to. Um, Eldest child inherits. We've got elective, which is quite cool if you can feel like you can keep control of the um, of the votes. Uh, and then ultimogeniture is the one that I like, where the youngest child inherits. Uh, the advantage of that is that under primogeniture, like um, most most kings uh, will get married at sixteen, uh, they'll have children by you know seventeen, eighteen, which means that when they die in their eighties or you know seventies or eighties, their child is in their mid sixties. So you tend to get very short reigns, and there's an advantage in this game to very long reigns. So I go for ultimogeniture in order to get long reigns. The downside of ultimogeniture is that if the child is under 16 when they inherit the title, inherit the crown, uh, there will be a regency where you don't quite have direct control over your kingdom. So what I try to do is uh, go ultimogeniture and then try and stop having kids into my like 50s and 60s, and then it's sort of, you know... Uh, actuarial tables and all that it, it kind of evens out uh, so let's do that now let's go ultimate it's going to piss people off a bit but this dude is the dude who inherit who actually benefits from it or actually is unchanged by it so we'll go with that he should be okay about that uh, so that's that yeah my heirs I've only got the one child haven't I here yeah, okay I do want to remarry ideally he won't be my heir ultimately his stats are a bit weak, and he's, as it, well, you can see, I'm on my 60, and my son is 39, 40, so I don't know what I was talking about. But by the time he inherits, he's always going, already going to be an oldish dude. Uh, I will weigh him, though, which means I'm just making an effort to make him like me more. If he likes me more, he'll give me more troops. Any, any decision in the game, or if, if any person in the game, any simulated character, when they're making a decision, that decision will be quite strongly informed by how much they like you. Uh, and also, when they're your vassal, if they, the more they like you, the more troops they give. I can make that here. I mouse over this. So it says um, he could provide at most 48 troops. Uh, he likes me 41%, so he's giving me... There's other things that factor in, but essentially, he's give, because he likes me... 40 or 50 rather than 100 he's given me about half of the troops that he can give me if you like me 100 percent, he'd give me roughly all of the troops with a with an upper limit based on your um uh, laws and stuff in here or we'll be in here when i'm a proper kingdom hope that made sense i'm um yeah maybe over explaining right now so what we're going to try and do is conquer uh these two Places so that we can get control of this entire duchy. The fact that I can only hold my domain size because of my low stewardship, my domain size is uh, one out of one. I could only have one major title. That's a problem. We'll solve that problem with a wife with high stewardship. There we go. She's got 17. I don't really care about anything else about her. She's got 17 stewardship, and that's why we're marrying her. Uh, and that will help with that, so I can hold a few more things. Um... Another thing I, I like playing, I might, did I mention this already? I like playing as a Muslim. Muslims, uh, in this game, you need a casus belli to invade anybody. You can't just invade anybody you want. Uh, you can't go to war. I couldn't just, like, right now, I can't go to war with um, any of these people because I don't have a casus belli. If you own half of a duchy, or over half of a duchy, say, say, say um, this four-county duchy here, if I held these three counties, I would have a de jure claim on the, on the fourth county to complete it. Uh, but that aside, you 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 need to. I, I would need to fabricate claims uh, to get a claim on these things. Um, if you're playing as a Muslim, you don't. You have 
automatic casus belli on your immediate neighbors, which is, which is great. So I may at some point, when I've got a younger son, I might send him off to be educated by a Muslim down here. Um, and then he will hopefully become a Muslim. And then when he inherits, that character inherits, my kingdom will be a Muslim kingdom. And I'll be able to do that, I'll be able to attack at will. There's other things I like about being a Muslim. It's not just the Casas Valley, but that is, that is really nice. So, ruler unmarried, we've dealt with that. Pick an ambition. Uh, what should we do? Oh, might as well choose the ambition to get married because we will fulfill that immediately. Oh, we do have a ducal claim. That's nice. We don't have to immediately fabricate. So, we've got a claim on this place. That is nice. Uh, character focus. What are my stats again? I really want to get as much life out of this dude as I can. On the other hand, I want something that boosts stewardship, which doesn't give you health. Um, my military, my warfare stats actually pretty good, so I think I'm, I'm going to go for the one, one of the ones that give me health. I think I'll go for family and try and have some kids and just hope that he lives <laughs> past 65. Um, yeah, so that's that. Right, let's take care of uh, these things. What's my... Okay, what you can do is, so these are your councillors, they, you know, your chancellor, marshal, blah, blah, they affect, um, they affect these stats here, uh, the state, like, so this is my personal diplomacy, this is my state diplomacy, which is my diplomacy plus a proportion of my chancellor's diplomacy stat, which is here. Uh, those matter for, you know, things in the game. Uh, so the higher these people's stats, the better. What I could do is I could go to the character browser uh, and look for people with better diplomacy stats than this dude, better martial stats than this dude, and replace these dudes. But at the beginning of the game, if they're all above 10 or so, I don't worry about it. So these are, these are fine. So we have one claim on this place. Uh, if I press I, we can see that these are the places in my duchy, so I also want this place. So let's fabricate a claim on that place. That will take a while. Uh, with these dudes, I'm just the military dude, research military, money dude, research money, spy, get them to spy over in Constantinople, because that's usually quite advanced, gets more tech. Uh, tech doesn't really matter hugely in this game, but when I've got, when I don't have anything particular for my counselors to do, I just think they might as well be doing tech. And you can research uh, uh, religion-y things, cultural things. Okay, we've got some titles. Uh, let's give my son a title to make him like me a bit more and give me more troops. Give him an honorary title, Master of the Horse. There you go. Uh, I don't have any other vassals at the moment that I care. I don't care about this dude. He's a church vassal. Might as well ignore him. He's giving me some money. Oh, does he even give me money? Yeah, no, he doesn't even give me money. So I do not care about this dude at all. He doesn't give me anything. I could try and make him like me more. Actually, might as well give him a title. Got titles coming out of the arse. I doubt that will be enough to, um... In fact, he likes me less now? Uh, okay. So, that's that's kind of the game set up. Oh, while I'm here as well, I'll go into Intrigue, uh, Known Plots, and I'm going to auto-stop plots. So, when I, when my Spymaster finds out about a plot, you can kind of micromanage that and look at the plot and say, does that serve my interests or does it not? And if, if it doesn't, you can tell them to stop, and if it does, you can allow it to go ahead. I'd rather just stop all the plots rather than, you know, find out that my children have been murdered when I didn't notice there was a plot. Uh, so I'll do it. I'm going to go and play on speed two, which is a comfortable speed for me. Play, play on whatever speed you like. I like two. Uh, you can go faster. The game can be quite slow. Okay, so we're getting married. Do we want gold or prestige? I'll take the prestige. That's obviously not a very role-play way to make the decision, but, you know, I've played this well. Oh, these pop-ups that come up, I'm not going to explain every single one. Uh, when you play, you can read them and, you know, choose whatever you want to choose based on either role-playing or stats or whatever you want to do. I'm just going to speed through these. It's just they've agreed They've agreed to the marriage, you know. You don't need to know much more than that. I'm now married, so I can pick a new ambition. Let's go with... King of Wales is a bit too... Yeah. I'm going to have a daughter and just hope that that improves my chances of having a son. So, I can now hold a one out of two domains, so that's good. That's a start. I will pause the game there for a second, because I do intend to go to war. Oh, just get comfortable. Right, so we're going to go to war with this poor fella here. Uh, he's also related to me, uh, which is interesting. 
Um, he's got 263 men. We have 300. Oh, is that all? I thought we'd have more than that. 374, so that's not ideal. Um, early on with these very small battles, uh, I really want to have two to one before I go to war. I want to be sure of winning. Because um, you've also got to bear in mind that I want to um, siege these places down, and they've got quite big, uh, quite big garrisons. Um, so this may not go great, but I'm going to give it a go. Make him any like me anymore? Can I give him a gift? How much? Okay, I can give him a gift of fifteen. He will like me significantly more for that. That might give us a bit more troops. So let's give this a go. So it's all about conquering territory. Land is power. All all power in the Middle Ages emanated from land, and if you control land, then you you are powerful and wealthy. So we want to get more land. So let's declare war on our half brother. Uh, declare war. We've got a de jure claim, so we don't need to worry about you know any of that stuff. So we've declared war, so now we can raise our armies. So if I go to the army tab, you can do this county by county, but it's easier just to go to this tab. Raise my personal levies, which is there. These are my personal men. And then raise my vassal levies. Which is there. Uh, I also want to take myself out of the army. We will not want to risk that at this point. So I click on this button, and now I'm not allowed to lead armies, so I'm not in the army. Obviously, there's an advantage to being in the army, but, you know, it's a bit of a risk. So we might as well just straight march all of those into there and see if we can get a, a jump on him. There he is, got 278 men. We hopefully will win. Oh, I should have appointed commanders really before I did that. But, um, uh, yeah, I, I forgot that, so that's that. So, auto-assign commanders. You can assign commanders yourself, but might as well just auto-assign. How's the battle going? Not great. And my wife likes me, which is good. Okay, we're going to just narrowly win this, I think. You can see the, uh, it's, you, you win a battle when their morale reaches zero. Uh, we, we lost that. That is disappointing. Be a bit better if I put some commanders in the army. But... Oh, we also raised with no morale, of course. My love is, all right. So let's put some commanders in the army. We've only got one commander. Fine. We'll let them morale. So yeah, battles are won when the enemy's morale uh, reaches zero. Uh, it's not when you kill all the people. So you're basically you you fight them, their morale collapses, and they run away. Um, and so you have to keep attacking them. Not it's rarely you know all decided in in one um, in one battle. So when morale's back, I'll try and attack them again. I've got more men. I've got some command. I've got a commander in my army now, which will help. We just try and whittle them down. We should. We've got more men, so we should ultimately win. Whether I can get enough war score to win this war completely and get this territory. Okay, morale's basically full, so let's attack again. Try and win this time. He is, of course, getting a defensive bonus. Pretty much always a defensive bonus. So this, this shows you the phases of the battle and what's actually happening in the battle. It's very confusing. Uh, wouldn't worry about it. More men generally will win. Technology and stuff comes into it, but broadly speaking, if you've got more men than them, you will win. It's surprisingly tight, though. I mean, he's going to lose his centers about to collapse. It's a good fight, there. Not bad. Okay. So we're still on negative war score because I... Lost that first battle, which I shouldn't have done. That was my my fault. I'm an idiot. My wife's pregnant, which is cool. Hopefully I have a son. Uh, I did go Ultima Geniture, didn't I? Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, so wait for the morale to... Uh, I don't want to attack them on zero morale, because then the battle will last like three seconds. They don't. I want to actually... I want to kill people. I wait for their morale to come back by about half, which give, will give me a better chance of winning than if I attack them on full morale, but the battle will last long enough to, you know, will down their forces. He's also sieging my... Uh, I'm sieging his town. Um, they're sieging my town. You ultimately win wars by sieging places down, but I want to take the army down first. He's actually... Those exclamation marks at the bottom, those red exclamation marks, they show that he doesn't actually have enough men to siege my place. 
<clears throat> Whereas I do have enough to siege his garrison. There's 260, I've got 278. In order to successfully siege a place, we're trying to siege this place, uh, you just need more men in your um, in your party, party in your army than they have in their garrison. Uh, since I am sieging his place and he's not sieging my place, I might as well just let that play out and then attack him. Okay, I've got a chance here to uh, become craven or brave. I'd obviously rather be brave than craven, so that's how much crack at that. Yeah, I'm brave. What's that do for me. Uh, plus two marshal. Nice. Two marshal. His name is 60. You never know, he might make it to 90 or something. Yeah, so sieges are not complicated in this. You just need more men than, than the raw defenders. Uh, you can assault the place. Uh, that's only really worth doing if you outnumber them about 10 to 1. We barely outnumbering them now. If we lose any more people in this siege, that might actually... Oh, no, because... That... You do lose people during a siege. But we're still... We should come out of this at about 2 to 1 compared to our army, so we should be all right. I should probably quickly, when you look at a place, look at a county. These places are the holdings within this county. So we've got, uh, uh, that's obviously a castle. The, the pr principal holding is usually a castle. Uh, another castle, uh, a bishopric and a town. Uh, broadly speaking, bishoprics obviously, or you know, mosques or whatever particular religious building for the culture, for the religion, um, obviously do religious stuff. Uh, castles give you more men and towns give you more money, broadly speaking. Uh, have made dispatch. She doesn't want all uh, so this is just my wife is pregnant. What do you want to do? Give her some give her some maids and lose some money. Keep her happy. I was still seizing seizing that place down. Uh, this Okay, so the person I'm trying to sway I'm essentially making a decision to talk to him about how great my realm is, boasting to him. But he's my son and he lives in my realm, so I assume he knows about that. Okay, so yeah, now we've we've actually got less men than there are defenders, or the same number. Uh, so I can no longer seize that place down, which is really irritating because it was nearly done. So let's go and attack this army. We should win this. If I'm if, if we don't win this, I'm going to be quite disappointed. Anywhere near as decisive as I would like it to be. Maybe he's got some great commanders. There we go, we're winning now, though. We just raised more men there. Okay, so let's go and dick those men that he's just raised, just often getting too big. We're still in, uh, we're still actually in negative war score. Uh, despite having won two battles, we won, we won that first battle. We lost that first battle stupidly. That was completely on my part. Now we really do need more men to siege this place down, which is unfortunate. I'm just going to keep attacking him for a bit. Get rid of that army. Get get to the point where that army is not a threat. And then see what we can do from there. Garrison's there actually is replenished. Okay, we've got a new air. Uh, that is cool. What's his stats like? What is his He's sickly. But, uh, you know, don't worry about that. He'll either die or he won't. He's nothing special. He's not a genius or anything, but fine. Fine, fine, fine. He's called Ith Ithel. Ithel at Reese. Yeah, so the early battles, the early wars rather, tend to go like this. Just you know, you've not got enough men to see to the places now. Bit of a shame, but Estlavoy. I can raise some more. Oh, they raised there. I really thought they would raise there. That was dumb. Um, making dumb decisions. So what I just did is I raised some more vassal levies because they'd sort of replenished. I thought I really thought they'd raise there in my son's place, and I, I could have prevented that. Oh, they're following them around as well. Mm. 
Uh, I'm making stupid decisions. Like I could have, I could have had enough men there to complete that siege if I hadn't done that. If I hadn't been stupid. I'm a stupid king. Okay, we gave them a bit of a thrashing though, but let's. Uh, might still have enough. What have we got there? Two, five, six. What happened? Going to friendly territory. Is any more men? Uh, I can't. I can afford any mercenaries. No, 150 is the cheapest for mercenaries. And then, of course, the monthly cost. Can't barely even afford the monthly cost. So this war is. Uh, I mean, we're not losing, but it's not going great. That is kind of, apart from my stupid decisions aside, that's kind of how it goes early game. You've got, you've got so few men early. Well, when you start as, you know, a single county. Thought it is uh, the, the Byzantine Empire, I'm sure it have quite a few men. They didn't. Okay, so we've won another battle. We've got, we haven't got enough men to... Like, so that's actually going up. It is irritating. So we're going to need 300 men to seize that place. And the war score is going up very slowly. We might have to wipe Peter out of this. Which would be a bit of a shame. There's a lot of prestige. We really don't want to do that. do is try and make an alliance. He got the one. And it's not married. I do not have a daughter though, do I? Not anybody nearby who has a daughter whom with whom I'm okay being allied. Wessex. Big to care. Uh, see, I don't want it to be. I don't want to ally with these people who are close to me because I want to conquer them pretty soon. Uh, this dude might be an option. Yeah, no, he's got no choice. Oh, he's a sibling. Again, I'm married, but yeah, I don't have a daughter. So not like somebody with a daughter. He's not got a daughter. Why is it? Nobody's got a daughter. He's got sons instead of daughters. That is inconvenient. Yeah, these are probably a bit too far away to be of much use. They do have daughters, though. We're just going to have to wait until a bit more. Could, uh, could do is take a. What I could do is take a loan. Which I don't like doing, but take a loan, hire some mercenaries, win the war. Might have to do that. Me, still trying to make my son like me. Yeah, okay, I'm going to borrow the money. I'm going to take the hit. Hire some mercenaries. Uh, I'm just going to get the cheapest. They already gonna get the cheapest mercenaries that I can get. I don't really care. They've got some, you know, got some troops. Fine. I just hire them for the shortest time that I can get away with. So uh, when most mercenaries spawn, they spawn on zero morale. So I'm gonna wait for their morale. Uh, what's this? Okay, this is me trying to sway my son. Still, I've got two options because I've got high. 
got higher. Uh, oh, we've got the trusting trait, and I've got the zealous trait. So I can go with these two special options. Um, they both seem to do the same thing. So let's just pick one. Yeah, so mercenaries raise on zero morale. So I want to wait for their morale to come up a bit. Go in there, try and quickly win this war before I have to pay those mercenaries too much money. You borrow money, you get this negative uh, negative status. Temple vassals like me, uh, less. that doesn't really matter for me at this point. I can live with that. Okay, knock them around. Let's go, and, let's go and win this battle and win this war. Taking too long. We won that battle hands down. Now it's just a matter of winning the siege. Um, more men doesn't actually make the siege go faster, irritatingly. Just if you either have enough or you don't, it's binary. So you can see this bar going down gradually. It's the same bar that's on the outside there. You can see that it's red at the top. Uh, and as it becomes completely red, that means we've won the siege. Uh, if I siege down a couple of these places, that should win me the war. Sieging down a place gets you a lot of war score. You can see my war score currently 33. Now we've won some, we lost some. I would actually like to raise my stewardship. Uh, I perhaps join the Benedictines. Get some, uh, I get some events that give us a bit more stewardship. Stewardship is, uh, as I say, how many um, how many uh, holdings you can hold directly. Your domain size. Felt Demesne. Thought it was Demesne for a while, but it's domain. Uh, and it's just how much, how many counties you can hold directly. Basically, I can currently hold two. That is not many. I'm liking my son. Making my son like us more, which is good. He's going to be pissed off that I've got a new heir. I'll keep him sweet because he does actually own a county. Uh, I might take that off him, which seems cruel, but, you know, it's the Middle Ages. Uh, and keep, uh, Mind you, when I've got this, yeah, see, I can't hold the three. This is why if I added a higher domain size, I'd probably take that for myself because I don't want a family member uh, who's not my heir holding something because they're going to be trouble down the line. Okay, making other family members like me more, which is good. Did we win that siege? Has that happened? What's all going on? I could assault. Uh, people will die, but they'll mainly be mercenaries. I don't really care whether mercenaries die or not. But, you know, some of my own men will die as well. I think I'll, I think I'll just let the siege play. We're in no rush. We've got the whole... What are we? We're May 771. We've got a long way to go. Don't want to rush it. Who's doing well? The Abbasids, pretty big. Umiads, not bad. Nearly won that siege. And the war score's going up because we're just occupying their territory anyway. There we go. Siege of Newport. This will be played. That was a Benedictine event. Okay, so we are now sieging down. Oh, we're 100% war score now, so we won the war. We offer peace. We enforce our demands, which means we get some stuff. I'm going to decline these Benedictine events, uh, missions. There we go. We now own another county. Beautiful. Let's uh, disband our army. Uh, so we don't have to pay the mercs anymore. And we didn't come out of that too badly, so that essentially cost us about 200 gold and we'll make that back in a, in a bit. Uh, yeah, okay, so we've got three counties in total now, two that we own ourselves. Oh no, we, oh, he's still in charge of that. We didn't actually take it off him. Uh, oh, oh. 
Okay, well that's a bit annoying. Oh, he owes a lot of money. I might want to just take this land off him. I'm going to piss off my vassals, but my vassals at the moment are my son and a bishop brick that I don't care about anyway. So I might, in fact, take them both and go over my domain limit. When you go over your domain limit, things just get inefficient. I don't really care about that right now. I don't think it will make any difference, ultimately. Uh, oh, yeah, let's revoke on this dude. He might uh, declare war on me when, when that happens, so... Let's get a bit of an army ready for that eventuality. So with wars, uh, you can't raise an army before you declare war, but with your own vassals, before you do hostile things to your own vassals, you can have an army raised. Uh, and I don't know this for sure, but I think it might sway their decision. If they've got an army on their doorstep, I think they must, might be a bit less likely to uh, resist. Uh, don't take my word for that, but it feels that way. The army together until this deed is no longer required. So this tells you what it does. It pisses him off by 60 and all my other vassals by 15. Oh, we've got a truce, haven't we? God damn it. Okay, we've got a truce because we've just been at war. I forgot about that. So uh, I do ultimately want to revoke on my son, but I'm not going to do that yet uh, because he likes me, essentially. Like, he's given me a decent number of men, so fuck it. Uh, but this dude... I want him gone. So, let's plot to kill him. Oh, possible plot powers are very low. Hey, he is a bit of a pain in the ass. So, let's see. So, current plot power is 22. Yeah, there's nobody who's willing to join our plot. So, if these were yellow, if these thumbs, thumbs, if these thumbs down, red thumbs, these downses, were sidewaysy thumbs, that were yellow, we could bribe them and then they would join our plot, but uh, we've got this dude all joined with his 5%, then that's it. Which will take it up to 27. Oh, uh, what's this? Who do I, what do I want to weigh in with? Some access to my... I don't want to lose learning. Uh, yeah, fine. Teach him about God. Great. So yeah, this plot is not going to happen. Which is a real shame. Uh, I could do something with my spy master to increase plot power and stuff, but yeah. okay. Since we're not going to be able to get rid of him, get rid of that army for now. I have to live with him for a while. He does not like us. Why does he not like us? Because we declared war on him and defeated him. And he's entitled to climate. He's got a lot of reasons to not like us. Uh, it's kind of surprising he only dislikes us minus 16, given how many reasons he has to hate us. But I'd really like to get rid of him. That's not going to happen immediately. Now what we're waiting for is this claim to fabricate on this place, which will take a while. The mouse over my uh, old that fella, chancellor, isn't he? Yeah, uh, mouse over my chancellor. It says I've got five point five percent yearly to fabricate this claim. Fabricating claims is a pain in the ass. I have no more claim. We've got a truce with this dude that I just beat. When, whenever you finish a war, you get a truce. So I've got, I think it's 10 years. No, 781, yeah, so 10 years. Gotta wait before I can attack that dude again. How much money are we making? We're making very little money. A little bit more money now. Yeah, I could I could do with getting this land under my own control. And I get, you know, I get rather than getting a proportion of the resources from money and men from these places, I would get all of it. I would like all of it. 
When we do when we do fabricate this claim, how many men has this dude got? He's got a lot of men. The Marshall score of one, how have he got that many men? His vassals must adore him. He doesn't have quite high diplomacy. Yeah, the, the the early game is a lot of um as a, especially as a Catholic feudal, a lot of waiting for claims to fabricate. I, I literally cannot declare war on anybody else in the game. Uh, you can get claims via marriage as well. Um but it's uh yeah, I mean it's a bit of a long a long game. And I try and request a claim from the Pope, but the Pope would have to like me a lot for that. I think under certain circumstances, I think if I held the, if I had the duchy title for this, which can I actually make? Oh, I have a, du oh, I have a du jour claim on that place. I didn't realise that. Okay. Well, that improves things a bit. I do not need, do not need you to fabricate claims there anymore then. So who else is weak? Place. Fabricate claims there instead. So we've already got a claim on this place, but they've got a lot of soldiers. I don't want to be... Player in war yet. They in fact have more soldiers than I do. Uh, when I'm at my max, so I have 265 out of 370 for my um, my own men. Uh, when that reaches 370, I'll have what is it like 430 something versus his. It's still a bit tight. Oh, he's got even more. Now. He's got five. I oh, know I was looking at that dude before. Um, he's got 383. So we'll beat them by a bit, but you know it's a bit a bit closer than I like. But that will do. Let me just wait for these men to replenish. I might as well, while I'm here, bribe him a bit, and then at least I'm getting some men off him. Give him an honorary title. Since I can't depose him, might as well make him like me as much as I can. So he likes me 41 now, which should improve how many men I'm getting here. That will be... Or oh, 5... 5... 10-ish. 5-14. Which is decent. Yeah, just a matter of all those men that were killed and waiting for them to replenish. I'm not sure what the mechanics of that are. Crawl crawl back out of the ground. Realise they're not actually dead. Just a bit dead. Ah, oh, wife's pregnant again. Good, good. The daughter would be handy for forming a, an alliance with somebody. How's my son? So when he's, um, if my next child is a daughter, when he turns six, I will send him off to be educated by a Muslim in the hope that he becomes Muslim. Somewhere over here in the Umayyad territory, probably. The emperor like, he's young. Mediocre stats. I want to find somebody with good stats to educate my son. It's not an immediate concern. Wow, he's got high stewardship. Um, intrigue. That is my men's equation. 187. That is going up. I could send my um, I could send my marshal to train troops a bit more quickly. I might as well do that. Marshall, uh, which one is it? It's that one, I think. No, it isn't. Train troops, that's the one. So it increases my levy size and uh, reinforcement rate. There's a downside to it. Uh, uh, black comes, uh, so noble interferes, which would be the downside. I don't know what really what that means, but yeah. Okay, so this dude likes me quite a lot now, so let's stop swaying him. I might as well sway this dude. If he likes me more, he'll give me more troops, which is always good. Is it there like me? Is there likes me alright? Yeah, fine.
So the marshal has uh, levy reinforcements, and so 19% yearly. That's quite high uh, to get levy reinforcements, which, you know, speed things up a little bit. We're already at 464. We're about 100 short of where we could be, so, well, a bit more than 100. We're going to be, we're going to be at around um, 500 and something versus uh, 384. Which should be all right. We'll probably be okay now, but you know, why chance it? As I've said, like the early game, quite a lot of waiting around. A later game, of course, you've got more to do. You've got more to manage and more decisions to make. Especially if you're a Muslim, when you can attack in any direction at any time. Oh, Frankia has. Uh, so when the game starts, it's. Uh, I think the, the game starts immediately after the death of uh, Charlemagne, and uh, one of Charlemagne's sons gets uh, Frankia, West Frankia, and the other Charlemagne's son gets the other Frankia. I forget what it's called, the Grey Frankia. Uh, and then if certain things happen, they can reunite, and it's already reunited. I know it's completely reunited now. That is formidable. So uh, King Carl has a pretty big realm. He's got some good stats. Look at them. Wish I had those stats. That beard. Awesome beard. Okay, we've got a daughter. That's kind of ideal. Right, now I've got a decent number of men. I'm not sure I want that alliance right now. Uh, let's choose... Into treasury. Okay. So we've got a daughter. So ideally I would like to stop having children now. Um in the Benedictine order, I think at a certain point I get the option to Yeah, take a vow of celibacy. One of the reasons that I take the Benedictine order with Ultima Geniture. Um so when I rank up, which will be that's gonna be a while. Uh, anyway, it's going to be a while. I'll rank up. I'll be able to turn celibate and then, you know, have more, no more children, which will be great. I'm actually take. I've taken the um, a lifestyle thing that makes me more fertile, which I don't really want now. What I would like now is Marshall. Yeah, see, I want one of the ones that gives me health. Is a limited choice, so yeah, I'm going to take. Oh, I can't yet. So 774. Uh, first of January. So okay, that's not too far off. So when that comes around, I'll switch to um, hunting because I don't want the additional fertility right now. I want my young son to be my heir. <clears throat> How many men do we have? We've got 506. I think I'm comfortable with that. Uh, we've we've just been given a eunuch as a gift, which is lovely. He's got very high martial, uh, so that's very kind. Thank you for that eunuch. Appreciate it. Um, okay, so time for war. So I'm going to pause the game while I declare war, just so I can sort of you know get my troops together a bit better. We've got three eight five. We've got five hundred. That should be a winning number. So. If he wants to vassalize first, he does not want to vassalize. So we declare war. We've got a du jour claims, so that's all legal and nice. Raise my armies. Get them together. And when they're together, I'll assign some commanders. So I've unpaused and my armies are marching. Their army's marching too. I don't think they will meet. Okay, he's gonna catch 36 of my men. I don't really care about that. Most of them will live. We're still on 505, that's fine. Lost 2% war score for that, but I can live with that. So, yeah, we've still only got one commander. Why have we only got one commander still? Uh, as we've got four commanders, presumably these other ones can't take part in the war for some reason.
we've got the commander. I mean, the the center has four hundred ish men, and the flanks have you know under a hundred. So we've got a commander on the biggest part of our army. That's fine. Uh, let's go visit a monastery. Lovely. Okay, let's attack these fellas. Hopefully, we'll uh, sail through this. You never know. They do, as always, have the defensive bonus. Defensive bonus there. Cool. Significant bonus, really, especially on small battles. Okay, so we're going to try and grow some flowers. This could go well, it could go poorly. It went poorly. That's a shame, I lost one learning. I'm not, not good at growing flowers. Are we winning this? We are winning this. So now, I think I'll try and siege, oh mind you, we're in our own territory now, aren't we? I'll wait for the morale to come back and then I'll attack him again and then siege something down. In the meantime, is there anybody who won't be attacking for a while that would be a handy ally? You, oh, you've got a daughter now. Awesome, now we don't need one. Let's try and make an alliance with this fella. So we will arrange betrothal with our... Water. He doesn't want that. Oh, she's sick, is she? Okay. Well, we'll wait until she's no longer sick. And then try that again. Okay. What's morale like? Perfect. So, I'm going to attack. He's probably going to go to one of my places and try and siege that down. I'm just going to try and siege one down first and then attack his besieging one. That is the plan. Almost done, there we go. Okay, so he's out of there. He's gonna be sieging here, sieging there. An easy siege, or uh, significantly more men. That's all good. That's just a matter of waiting for the siege. He's actually successfully sieging me as well. Is uh, uh Yeah, the siege is going to take about the same amount of time. So hopefully I can finish my siege and attack him before he finishes his siege. If not, we'll just, we'll de-siege. We'll deal with it. Who I want to be greet? Oh, lose the chance greet. Hmm. Who's the uh, the trade runner? Um, I would like to lose greedy. Uh, greedy's actually kind of good for making tax money, but it also uh, it's minus one diplomacy, which I don't like. Yeah, so let's only ten percent chance, but give it, a, give it a pop. Did we lose greedy? We did not. Waste of time. I'm trying to make that man like us. Waste of time. Look at you, Count. Of Gwent. The dick. Does not want to be our friend. I mean, he doesn't hate us. He's alright. For now. A bit cruel. What is he? Craven, greedy, cruel, taste. Zealous and depressed. Oh, yep. Now what goes to see? Actually, close. He's probably he's probably going to deceive that place. He's got, sorry, he's probably going to seize that place, which is annoying. But as I say, I'll go and beat his army, deceive it, and then get back to business. We can work with it. Uh, can I can I change my coat of arms? I think there is one that's just nothing. I like, I like just nothing. I like just having a colour. Makes it easy. Oh. Oh, that was nothing. Um, 
Take these. Oh, that color is not used. Here's a color I like. Lovely pink. Oh, all that. Mm. Just go all pink. There we go. There we go. We've got a new, a new, a new coat of arms. Beautiful. Uh, uh, read a book. Awesome. Are you just progressing? We're nearly there. Uh, should I change the name of my dynasty? I do like changing the name of my dynasty. Let's be, what can we be? Uh, poetry. Yeah, we're poetry. Plus one. Let me see. Love it. Okay, got to think of a, uh, a name for my dynasty before this ends. Mm, should be hex, hexical, something to do with hex. Hexical. Love it. House Hexical. 14 total members, and 11 of those are living. Prestige of 80. It's uh, humble beginnings, but we'll get there. The siege over yet? Come on. Come on. Hooray, we won a siege, which takes us to 59% war score. That siege is actually still going on, but I think it's going to be done by the time we get there, which is annoying. Oh, maybe not. Oh, it's going to be tight. Hey, we got there in time. We don't have to kiss around BCD. I think I'll probably just chase this army around for a bit. I want to get this, uh, like, or keep attacking this army, wait, like, let the morale come back a bit, because we don't want the battle to be too short, because then we don't kill many men. Uh, so let their morale come back to about half, attack them again, um, get them small enough that they won't be able to siege anything, is the idea. But we don't want them, we don't want them sieging that back, so we will kick them out of there. Tell us more about this mythical realm of Hindustan. Love that Hindu stand. Uh, we get another another eunuch. Awesome. Uh, not as good stats as the last one, but yep. Thank you for the eunuchs. Never have enough eunuchs. That's what I always always say. Every day. Okay. Oh, they got okay. So now they're too small to seize this place. And we can siege this place. Perfect. I'm just waiting for the siege again. Uh, how long have we been playing this? I'm playing about an hour, so when I've won this war, we'll call we'll call this session one done. So what did we do? We conquered this place. We've got this grumpy fuck who kind of hates us, apart from the fact that we bribed the shit out of him in charge. And f -f -f -lem 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 uh, and we will hopefully have this place as well. So, you know, we've, we've made a start. Oh, and I've become a poet. Now that is nice. Permanent plus one diplomacy and other poets will like me. Now, I'm getting on a bit. I'm 65. My son is four. I've got to remember when he's... In fact, I'm going to make him a person of interest. Little uh, star thing up here, so he appears over here. Um, so that I remember when he's six to get him educating, educated by a Muslim. We're going to be Muslim whales, is the idea. more interesting vassals now. So I've only got the three vassals. I've got my son, who's here. I've got this, who's he? My half-brother, who's here. It's like a family thing going on. And this bishop that I do not care one jot about because he's not going to give me anything unless he hates the Pope. Nearly done with this siege. Click on the right place. There we go. What's the war score? War score is 100. We've won this war. Awesome. Offer peace. Give me all your things. Thank you very much. 
This man the army because it's costing us money. And we've got this place too, but he's still in charge of it rather than us, which is quite irritating, but we'll deal with that next episode. Uh, thanks for watching. Do some things with bells. Do a thing with a Patreon. Uh, do a, a thumbs thing. Thumb up, be downy. If you don't, you know, you know what to do. Uh, goodbye.